Recording started. Good day to all. Our topic for today is the continuation of private sewage disposal systems. No? Appendix P ng RNPCP or Revised Plumbing Code of the Philippines 1995. So yung topic natin is B.6 to B.11. Disposal field, seepage pit. Access pools, commercial or industrial special liquid waste, inspection and testing, and abandoned sewage and sewage disposal facilities. Yun. Bago tayo mag-proceed, so mga hindi pa po nakaka-subscribe, please subscribe to this channel. Click the join ah. sa bell button, no? Para click niyo po yung all para every time na meron akong bago upload, Eh, manunan-notify po kayo. Rest assured, hindi pa po ito natatapos sa Master Plumber. Marami pa po yan. May Material Engineer, eh, ENP, and REM or the broker. Yeah, please subscribe to MCGI channel. It's the keepers, the kingdom, and the righteousness of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah, ito din po. Team friend forever or environmental planning for the exact. Uh, to get access to membership perks like reviewers and other references, uh, please click the join button in this channel. No? Click join. Pili lang po kayo kung ano, uh, anong pong gusto nyo. No? Hindi naman necessary monthly siya. No? Pwede naman one time lang din. Cancel anytime. So, tuloy na tayo. No? Private seaway disposal system. 3.6 disposal fields. Distribution lines shall be constructed of clay, tiled, tiled, laid with often joints, perforated clay pipe, perforated bituminous fiber pipe, perforated high density polyethylene pipe, perforated ABS pipe, perforated PVC pipe or other crude materials provided that sufficient openings are available for distribution of the effluent into the trench area. Oh, dapat pinaghiwalay. Ah, hindi kasi. Putol kasi pag pinaghiwalay. No? Before placing filter or drain lines in a preferred excavation, all smeared or compacted surfaces shall be removed from the trenches by raking into raking to a depth of 25.4 mm and the loose material removed clean stone gravel slag or similar filter material acceptable to the administrative authority varying size from 19.1 mm to 63.5 mm shall be placed in the trench to the to a depth to the depth and grade required by this section. Train pipe shall be placed on filter materials in an approved manner. Drain lines shall be shall then be covered with filter material to the minimum depth required by this section and this covered with untreated building paper. Paper, straw or similar porous material to prevent closure of voids with a Backfill. No earth backfill. No earth backfill shall be placed over the filter material cover until after inspection and acceptance. A grade board stake in the trench to the depth of the filter. Filter material shall be utilized when the distribution line is constructed with drain tile or a flexible material, pipe material, which not will not maintain alignment without continuous support. And seepage pits are used in combination with disposal fields. The filter material in the trench shall terminate at least 1.5 meter from the feet excavation and the line extending from such points to the seepage pit shall be approved pipe with the water joints. For two or more train lines are installed 
an approved distribution box of sufficient size to receive lateral lines shall be installed at the head of each disposal field. Inverts of all outlets shall be leveled and the invert of inlet shall be at least 25.4 mm above the outlets. Distribution boxes shall be designed to ensure equal flow and shall be installed on a level concrete slab in natural or compacted soil. Distribution boxes shall be coated on the inside with a bituminous coating or approved other approved method acceptance to the administrative authority. All laterals from a distribution box to the disposal bill shall be approved pipe with watertight joints. Multiple disposal field lateral whether, wherever practicable shall be of uniform length. Connections between a septic tank and a distribution box shall be laid with approved pipe with watertight joints on natural ground or compacted field. When the quantity of sewage exceeds the amount that can be disposed in 152.4 lineal meter of each line, a dosing tank shall be used. Dosing tanks shall be equipped with an automatic siphon or pump which discharges the tank once every three or four hours. The tanks shall have a capacity to 60 to 80 to 75% of the interior capacity of the pipe to be dosed at one time. Where the total length of pipe exceeds 304.8 linear meter to the, the dosing linear meter, the dosing tank shall be provided with two siphons or pumps, dosing alternately in each serving one half of the leach field. Disposal fields shall be constructed as follows. Ito medyo mahaba yata ito. Yan. Number of train lines per field. The minimum is one. Wala siyang maximum. Length of each line. Walang minimum. Ang maximum niya is 30.5 mm. Bottom width of the trench. Minimum is 457.2 mm, maximum is 914.4 mm. Spacing of lines center to center, 1.8 mm minimum, yun ang maximum. Depth of earth cover of lines prepared, 157.2 mm, 304.8 mm. Grade of lines, palagay is level, or the maximum is 25 mm per meter. Filter material under drain lines, 304.8 mm minimum. Filter material over drain lines, 50.8 mm minimum. Okay. Minimum spacing between trenches or leaching beds shall be 1.2 meter plus 6 meter from each additional 3 meter depth in excess meter below the bottom of the drain line. Distribution drain lines in leaching bed shall be more than 1.8 meter apart on centers and no part of the perimeter of leaching bed shall be more than 0.9 meter from the distribution line. Disposal fields, trenches, and leaching beds shall not be faved over or covered by concrete or any material than can reduce in inhibit possible evaporation of sewer effluent. When necessary, on sloping ground to prevent excessive line slope, leach lines or leach bed shall be stiff. The lines between each horizontal section shall be made with water tank joints and shall be designed so each horizontal leaching trench or bed shall be utilized to the maximum capacity before the effluent shall pass to the next lower leach line or bed. The lines between each horizontal leaching section shall be made with approved watertight joints and installed on natural or unfilled ground. Yan, B.7, B page pit style. So, yun ito gaya nung sinabi ko kanina, no? Hopefully, magkaroon tayo ng separate topic 
ito sa disposal pin na pinapakita yung dun sa appendix no yung mga dimensions but for the meantime let us read muna what is written in this code capacity of the CP of seepage pit shall be based on the quantity of liquid waste discharging there into and on the character and ferocity of the surrounding surrounding soil and shall conform to the section B-3 of this appendix. <coughs> Excuse me. Multiple seepage pit installation shall be served through an approved distribution box or be connected in series by means of a water of the watertight connection laid on undeserved or compacted soil. The outlet from the pit shall have an approved vented leg pitting extending at least 304.8 mm below the inlet fitting. Each seepage pit shall be circular in shape and have an excavated diameter of not less than 2.2 mm. Each such pit shall be lined with approved type whole new hard burned clay brick, concrete brick, concrete circular type cesspool blocks, or other approved materials. Approval shall be obtained prior to the construction for any pit having an excavated diameter greater than another oh, 1.8 millimeter. Sorry. So, yeah, diameter niya 2.2 meter. Then, yung, ano ba? Pag mas malaki siya, no? Approval shall be obtained prior construction for any pit having excavated diameter greater than 1.8. Bakit ganun? Each seepage pit shall be circular in shape and shall have an excavated diameter of not less than 2.2 meter. So, hindi siya liliit ng 2.2 meter pero pag mas malaki naman sa 1.8, kailangan pa na approval. No? E parang ganun yung sinasabi. Please correct me na lang. No? <coughs> Excuse me. Medyo mahaba ito. Siguro mga 30 minutes tayo. No? The lining in every seepage pit shall be laid on a formation, on a foundation. Lining material shall be placed tight together and laid with joint staggered. Except in the case of approval type precast concrete circular sections, no brick or block shall be greater than in, greater in height than its width and shall be laid flat to form at least 101.6 mm wall. Brick or block greater than 304.8 mm in length shall have chamfered matching and be scored to provide for seepage. Excavation voids behind a brick, block, or concrete liner shall have a minimum of 152 mm of clean 19.1 mm gravel all or rock. All brick or block used in seepage pit construction shall have a minimum compressive strength of 17,225 kilo pascal. Each seepage pit shall have the minimum sidewall not including the arc of 3 meter below the inlet. <coughs> Yan. Arc or dome of any seepage pit may be constructed in any one of the three ways. Approved type hard burned clay brick or solid concrete brick or block laid in cement mortar. Approved brick or block laid in laid dry in both of the above methods. An approved cement mortar covering at least 50.8 mm in thickness shall be applied. Said covering to extend at least 1.4 mm, not a 52.4 mm beyond the side one of the feet. Approved type of one or two piece reinforced concrete slab of 17,225 kilopascal minimum compressive strength, not less than. 
not a 27mm thick and designed to support an earth load of not less than 19.2 kilopascal. Each such cover shall be provided with a 228mm minimum inspection hole, lead plug or cover, and shall be coated on the underside with approved bituminous or other non permeable protective compound. Uy, haba talaga yun. Dapat pagiwayo wala ko. Pero nandito na tayo. Tuloy na natin. The top of the arc or cover must be at least 457.2 mm but not more than 1.2 meter below the surface of the ground. A prevented inlet pitting shall be provided in every seepage pit. So arrange so as to, pre as to prevent the inflow from the dominating chin side wood. Exceptions. When using a one or two piece concrete slab cover, inlet fitting may be a one fourth bend fitting discharging through an opening in the top of the slab cover. On multiple seepage pit insulation, the outlet fitting shall be per section B seven point two on this appendix. Okay, bago tayo magtuloy sa says pull. Yan. Commercial muna. For a while. Tuloy na tayo. Saan na ba tayo? Naputol. B.8 says pool. Yan. Says pool. Letter A. A says pool shall be considered only as a temporary expedient pending the construction of a public sewer as an overflow facility when installed in conjunction with an existing says pool or as means of sewage disposal for limited minor or temporary uses when first approved by the administrative authority. Where it is established that a public sewer or sewer system with available in less than two years and soil and ground water conditions are favorable to cesspool disposal, cesspools with septic tanks may be installed for single family dwellings or for other limited users when first approved by the administrative authority. Each cesspool when permitted shall conform to the construction requirements set forth in section B.7 of this appendix for seepage pits and shall have minimum side wall, not including arc of 6.1 meter below the inlet provided. However, that when a strata of gravel or equally previous material of 1.2 meter in thickness is found, the depth of such sidewall need not be more than 3.1 meter below the inlet. When overflow cesspools or seepage pits are added to the existing installations, the effluent shall leave the existing pit through an approved leg extending at least 304.8 mm downward into a such into such existing feet and having its outlet flow line at least 152.4 mm below the inlet. All pipe within pits shall be laid 
with an approved water type joints. Yon, B.9, commercial or industrial special liquid waste disposal. When liquid waste containing excessive amounts of grease, garbage, flammable waste, sand, or other ingredients, which may affect the operation of a private sewage disposal system, an interceptor for such waste shall be installed. Installation of such interceptor shall comply with Section 1008 of this code and their location shall be in accordance with Table B-1 of this appendix. Sampling box shall be installed when required by the administrative authority. Uy. Yari. Nagpapalit. Nagpapalit. Yan. Interceptors shall be approved, designed, and be of not less than two compartments. Structural requirements shall be in compliance with the applicable subparts of B.5 of this appendix. Interceptors shall be located as close as to the source as possible, possible and be accessible for servicing. All necessary manholes for servicing shall be at grade level and be gas type. Waste. Bakit mm, putol? Please, let me see now. Oh, it's poorly shown. When discharge from interceptor may be connected to a septic tank or other primary system or be disposed into a separate... Bakit gano'n? Ito lang, V9.6. Commercial ulit. Private sewage disposal system. Dibuhin natin. Bakit po tuloy siya? Okay. Into a separate disposal system. Okay, type ko na lang. Nagsila naman eh. Bakit kaya naputin yan? Waste discharge from interceptor may be connected to a septic tank or other primary system or be disposed into a separate disposal system. Bakit may kami nito? Bakit po doon? Lakayan na lang natin yung 1, 2, So, ayan siya. Okay. Okay. Recommended design criteria. Formally by BA adapted to all other types of occupancies with similar weights. Number of meals per peak hour. Ito po ha, for grease and garbage commercial kitchens. Number of meals per peak hour times waste of flow rate. Waste flow rate times retention time times storage factor is equal to interceptor size or liquid capacity. For sand, silt, oil, auto washers. Number of vehicles per hour. Waste flow rate, retention time times retention time times storage factor is equal to interceptor or size ng liquid or uh, interceptor size or liquid capacity. No? Liquid capacity siya ng interceptor. Yan, for silt, lint, grease, laundry, laun laundromats, Number of machines times two cycles per hour times waste flow rate times retention time times storage factor is equal to storage size. Nang size niya is for the liquid capacity. 
Yan, waste flow rate. Ang um, yan, yung waste flow rate ang reference natin is table B-3 of this appendix for estimated flow rates. Ito 'yon. Yan, waste flow rate, waste flow rate. Waste flow rate. Haba pa na ng ating ano ngayon. Okay, yan ha. Attention times, commercial kitchen waste, disposal. Ah, ito, retention time for commercial kitchen waste, dishwasher and other disposal, 2.5 hours. For single service kitchen, single serving with disposal, 1.5 hours. For sun silt oil, 2 hours. For lint silt on laundry, 2 hours. Ito yun, no? mga retention time. Retention time, retention time, retention time. Then, for storage factor, fully equipped commercial kitchens, 8-hour operation, 1, 16-hour operation, 2, 24-hour operation, 3. Single service kitchen, 1.5. Auto washers, self-serve, 1.5. Employee operated, 2. For laundry, or laundry mats, 1.5 allow for, allows for lock rack filter. Okay, B.10. Malapit na. Inspection and testing. Inspection. Applicable provisions of Section 501 of this code. And this appendix shall be complied with. Apply with. Permits shall be required per Section 100 of this code. System components shall be properly identified as to manufacturer. Septic tanks or other primary system shall have the retreated capacity permanently marked out on the unit. Uy, septic tanks or other primary system shall be installed on tri-level, well-compacted soil. Design is predicated on soil test. The system shall be installed at the same location and depth as tested area. Testing. Septic tanks or other primary components shall be filled with water to flow line prior to the to requesting inspection. All seams or joints shall be left exposed except the bottom and the tank shall remain watertight. All flow tests shall be performed through the system to the point of effluent disposal. All lines and components shall be watertight. Capacities required airspace and pitting shall be in accordance with the provision set forth in this appendix. B.11 A fund on sewers and sewage disposal facilities. Every abandoned buildings, building house, sewer, or further off shall be plugged or capped in approved manner within 1.5 meter of the property line. Every cesspool, septic tank, and seepage which has been abandoned or has been discontinued otherwise from further use or to which no waste or soil pipe from a plumbing picture is connected, shall be, shall have, pala, shall have, sorry, shall have the sewage removed therefrom and be completely filled with earth, sand, gravel, concrete, or other approved material. The top cover or art over the cesspool, septic tank, or seepage pit shall be removed before Feeling and the feeling shall not extend above the top of the vertical portions of the side walls or above the level of any outlet pipe until inspection has been called and the cesspool septic tank or seepage pit has been inspected. After such inspection, cesspool, septic tank, or seepage pit shall be filled to the level of the top of the ground. No person owning or controlling, owning of controlling any cesspool, septic tank, or seepage pit on the premises of such person or in that portion of any public sewer, alley, or other public property abutting such premises shall fail, refuse, or neglect to comply with the provision of this session or upon receipt notice so to comply from the department having jurisdiction. Where disposal facilities are abandoned consequent to, the con to connecting any premises with 
the public sewer, the primary permitting making the connection shall fill all abandoned facilities as required by the administrative authority within 30 days from the time of connecting to the public sewer. Okay, ganyan. Oh, sakto, 30 minutes. Oh. Thank you very much. Ganyan yung ating topic for today. Yun, next topic natin. Yan pa rin, private sewage disposal systems. Yung table V-1, V-2, V-3, V-4, V-5. No Appendix B. RNPCP 1995. Yun. Yeah, for inquiries, comments, suggestions, and corrections. Yan. Please comment in this video, no? Or sa anumang video na inyong napapanood, yan. Or sa email and address, ay, ay, address tuloy. Email address or number na naka-flash ay yung screen. So, or more engineering topics, software tutorials, and board exam review. No? Please don't forget to subscribe sa mga hindi pa po nakaka-subscribe. And yun, good luck po sa magtitake ng board exam. Sa pinakamalapit na board exam. No? Hindi, ko na, hindi na ako magpabanggit ng date kasi lifetime naman tong ano, channel na ano, kung ano naman yung pinakamalapit na board exam and hopefully makatulong itong pagre-review na to pagbabasa, pagre-review and computations sa mga susunod oh, bakit so yan, nasa ano tayo ngayon no? plumbing code tayo kasi nasa plumbing code to yung appendix B okay, hanggang dyan po Thank you very much and see you in the next session.